Hello, and today we're looking at Monkey's Emporium in Camden. So let's have a look inside, shall we? Alright, so, oh, Lara Croft. Lara Croft. It's a very flat chested Lara Croft, actually, but never mind. Okay, um, see, and not everything's super expensive here, look. Six, six pounds, you get some quite cool stuff in here. There you go. We'll do it later. Right, so, we have Captain Star Wars here. A bit higher, so box typer up there. If you turn those around, there we go. Uh... Oh, and a box baby. I've got the same baby in the same box at uh, my, mo my mother's house. There we go. All right, okay, and down here, so we've got some various, various Star Wars here. Uh, 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 look, there we go. The only one I don't have is the blue snaggle tooth. Well, there we go. So, it's a loose and complete Star Wars here. Okay, now yeah, we're going to this case here, some mini mini rigs. There's Marvel Super Special, there's Jabba. There's pipe on back to front. Okay, and in here we have, oh, oh we've got a boxed Imperial Troop Transporter here. Uh, laser can. I've got the same radar laser can, same box at uh, home. The recent Rancor Monster. Bag accessories and pieces. It's a loose B-Wing. Slave one. Oh, we've got Tebow and B Wing Fighter Pilot on cards. He was the peg warmer or peg warmer back in the day, but now it seems to be quite desirable. Again, just to prove there are various things, just down here you get some sort of slightly more uh, cheaper uh, bits and pieces here, so you can restore those. Right, and we've got top there, we've got a box slime pit. There we go, box slime pit with a battle bones above it, and a snake mountain and a grey skull not for sale. And here we have our home from home here, we have a case full of He-Man and She-Ra. There we go, so there's your He-Man in the car there, 500. And Fox Multi-Bot. There we go, yeah. And in here we've got, got some new adventures pieces and whatnot as well. And some Black Star as well. Uh, oh, and there's Clamp Champ with his clamp, which we haven't got. We have Clamp Champ, we don't have the clamp. And there's the next shelf down. We've got some uh, some carded V-Man, which is kind of cool. Okay, so some cool ones there. Putting some red lights. The poor troopers in there don't seem too often. There's another poor trooper there. Also, they've got a the squeeze there. On the card. He's quite hard to come by. Back with the ladybird books. And whatnot on the floor there. Just got it lower down. We've got various sort of loose vehicles and whatnot. Next cabinet, I think, is that? Oh, there we go. We've got uh, some Doctor Who figures on the card. And turtles, a motor pony, and a Barbie, and a Cindy. And there's turtle things, and some Power Rangers on the floor. Power Rangers are not, they're not my era, so I don't know. Okay, next up we have a full size Cyberman. There you go, can't beat that. And over here, these cabinets are very familiar, of course, being the similar to what we have at home. And what you've got to do on top there, just quickly getting worse into the top there, very boxed sort of 80s toys up there and 90s, I think. Yeah, box transformers, and some cool items there. And the case is here, we've got a Bucky over here. I'm not in the shot here. Um, and we've got Action Force, G.I. Joe and Captain Planet. These are some micro machines. These, um, I can see some Brave Star in there and some Centurions. And next to them all, we've got some various dinosaurs. Are they Dino Riders perhaps? I don't know. I don't know those too well, so they might be Dino Riders. They've got various GoBots, Robot Machines and Transformers. More Transformers and GoBots and Robot Machines. And there's some Transformers. And some 89 Batman stuff in the next cabinet. And we've got some Mego stuff on the next shelf down. And some more sort of 90s Batman things. That, that talking Batmobile is from the 70s guy had that. I've still got it actually. And down below, again, some more Mego and sort of 90s Batman things. Okay, next we have Thundercats. There we go. Actually, quite nice to fish most of those. Can't see the rare ones, isn't he? Quite jagger here on your nose. Yeah. And the next cabinet down, what we've got here. Now, I've not seen any jaggers or any of those sort of like, being dawdly or any of those ones in here, though. There we go. 
Thundercats, it's more Thundercats. The next shot down, hey, it's Mask. We've got Firecracker, Hurricane, and Stinger there. And then bottom shelf are some more masks, things, there's mask figures there with their masks. But they all look to be the sort of second issue ones, what I can see of them. Then next case along, we've got some Star Trek. It's Mego items and the Dinky Enterprise. Yeah, Dinky Enterprise there. And then you've got some more sort of Star Trek comics and other figures, there's various playmates, check things on that shelf there. Next the shelf, you've got some various custom things. Yeah, these are all custom things, and I recognise some of these. Lots of Mexican bootlegs and things. Okay, cool. And then we've got some uh, various custom things here and a sort of Nintendo set. And we've got, guys, come the other side of you. There we go, just want to be at the camera. Yeah, this way, there you go. So, top shelf, I've got Space 99, 9 and Buck Rogers, and Planet of the Apes, and things like that, and Lost in Space. Then, um, next down, we've got some Aliens and Terminator things, or many sort of things in the 90s, Jurassic Park as well. We have some Jerry Anderson, some Thunderbirds, and Captain Scarlet things here. E.T. things, aha, it's that, that, that is the thing I was talking about once, that E.T. pub with the boxing gloves, I had that as a kid. My nan bought me that from Blackbush Market. There you go, I remember that. <laughs> I'll never ever see one of those ever again. Okay, and next shelf down some sort of various sort of manga and Japanese things, but most from what I can see most of this. Got some Godzilla's here, you got sort of um, Voltron, Battle of Planets, Phoenix from the second series of um, Gatchaman. That's why it looks like a bird, not the sort of the blue one we saw in the series over here. And you've got some sort of Power Rangers here, some more sort of like retro gaming, you looking at Atari 2600 down there. And we have over here, next cabinet's got some A-Team and Police Academy and Mr. D stuff. And underneath that you've got various things, like you've got some sort of Karate Kid figures and a few thongs there and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Okay, and some Muppets things. Then you've got some James Bond stuff down there and Lone Ranger and Action Man. There's not Action Man here, but it's good to see two of those. And some sort of uh, retro cartridges. Things down the bottom there. Okay, let's up that camera here. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're in the corner here. There we go, we've got, here we do this, two things. Again, home from home here. Yeah. We've got Doctor Who stuff. <laughs> Most of which we have in our shed at home. <laughs> Except that, of course, I'm still hunting for. <laughs> and. There's many sort of character options things here, but they do have, I didn't notice up here, the one talking dog up here. Yeah, it's the one I don't have. Uh, if you tell, I don't actually, they've got also a, um, I know it's Mark's one, but oh, being got the clockwork one. Here you go, so there's the old clockwork dog from the 60s up there. Um, and there's the Lewis Marks one, I think that's the bump and go one. And beside that is the silver talking dog, so I've got the red one at home. But here they've got the, um, the silver one. I mean, it looks the same, but it's just a different colour. There's some Depole things and whatnot. Yeah. Box of Tardis by Dennis Fisher and all sorts. There you go. Do you want to do the counter? <laughs> right, that Mega Laser. I'm going to buy that Mega Laser. <laughs> that will be mine. <laughs> yes, I will buy that. I will buy that. If I have a card, if he man something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they show old commercials in here and seeing what actually that might be a Toys That Made Us, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's Toys That Made Us, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Um, and in the next case, there's sort of horror things, there's some old like, Universal Monsters by Mego and Supernaturals. There we go. See that? We've got the Ma Mad Balls, I think. Yeah. Then you've got my other pet favourite, they've got some uh, Dungeons and Dragons things here and Lord of the Rings. There's Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's those boxes. Next shot down, some stuff. There's some Mego dolls there. They're all original ones, they're not reproductions or anything. You can tell by the age on the uh, material. Um, here goes Secret Wars, boxed Turbo Cycle, which I do need because my one got broken, so I need a new, I need a new one. Some Cardi sort of Marvel here from the 90s. And some Secret Wars figures. I sucked up the best one last time. See, I bought the Daredevil there, dear, so it was the best figure's gone already, guys. Sorry. Uh, um, but I think that Hulk, that Corky Hulk thing's quite rare because you don't see what those wheels do. Normally, they're just big chunky wheels. And on the bottom, we've got some Disney things and trolls and stuff. And 
whatnot, and then you've got Care Bears over there, and some little keepers, I think, the keys in the back, I think. I can't remember. I'm getting old here. Various old sort of 70s and 80s comics here. There you go, annuals. Well, up there, of course, you have to take up there, did we? You've got the Ghost Fire Station, Ecto One, and that yellow Volkswagen Highway Haunter thing. All Dungeon Dragons things there. There you go, lots of old annuals and things up there, and it's on the top there. And some old plushy, plush toys. You've got like sort of Cabbage Patch Kids, jailed Star Wars figures in a little case up top there. Okay, and we can get the way and some gelled He-Man figures. And you'll maybe stick out the front, just sort of finish out front and we'll sort of start it. There you go. Oops, let me get out the camera. Uh, the camera. Not this old. Oh, here we have an old. Oh, it's a Super Nintendo. That's it, yeah, we go. And we have, of course, Gizmo. Gizmo is here in the bin. Don't feed him off to midnight. In big trouble. And here we are in Camden Market. And there we are, the shop is, as we said, is. Monkey's Emporium! Hey, here you go.